Emma Webb is here, UK royal watcher and a fellow at the New Culture Forum. Um, do you know where Kate is? I think that she's had abdominal surgery and that she's resting up. Um, I, I, look, I think that this uh, entire thing is completely confected. So it wasn't just as a result of this photograph. There had been already a, a week or more of people um, having sort of uh, Netflix-style conspiracies on Twitter um, about where Princess Kate might be. And some of the suggestions were really outlandish and very British-specific, so I won't go into them. Um, but the reality is that this is just, it's all very confected. Um, we knew already that the princess had a abdominal surgery, that she was yeah, going no, I, to I get be that. And look, tw Twitter, and Twitter by definition is out there. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter, well, she, Twitter's out there. But you, you, like, what was it? The royal family just decided or the, the, the palace, quote unquote, thought that they could put this out and nobody would question it? Well, this is definitely a PR mistake, and I think they should be looking at who on earth is advising them because they're obviously not getting the best advice. It's quite astonishing, actually, that firstly this could go out and then um, an unprecedented apology from the Princess of Wales for this photo going out. I wouldn't be surprised if it is actually true that she does edit some of her own photographs because she's known to be an amateur photographer. She's had photography exhibitions. It's one of her hobbies. So she probably does experiment with Photoshop. So it's not completely beyond the pale. But the reality is that the conspiracy started long before this photo. The photo is obviously oh, backfired. Yeah, but it's sort of like, yeah. I, Emma, Emma, all I'm going to say is that if I'm ever in trouble for putting out a heavily edited Photoshop as a proof of life, you are my first call as my spokesperson. You are, you, you will go down with the ship as, as a true believer. I, I, I thinking to myself, maybe I have this all wrong. And so this is my own little conspiracy theory you can tell me. Okay, the royals have become completely irrelevant. After the queen died and, Di you know, Diana was gone, the queen dies, it's done. Harry, you know, went off to be Harry, thank mercifully is out of the news. Uh, William's boring. Kate was it. Is this some kind of like super, you know, 3D underwater chess thing to all of a sudden have Kate reemerge more famous and the world will be more obsessed than ever? I doubt it. I think we don't actually have any reason other than to take the palace at their word that she has just had abdominal surgery. And it's interesting from my perspective, because I, as before the show, I had a look to see what American media was saying about this. And the American media have been so interested in this in comparison to the British media. There have been some stories about it, but it hasn't been this kind of feeding frenzy. Um, and I wonder why that is, why it is that Americans are so interested in this, because of course the royal family are having a hard time at the moment. Um, the king, is, has obviously had this cancer diagnosis. He's been very open about his medical situation. The Princess mm. of Wales wants to keep that quiet. And I know we live in an age where um, everybody thinks that everybody's medical history should be on show for the world um, post-COVID. But the reality is that she has a right to her medical privacy. Um, and mm. she said she wasn't going to be doing any royal duties until Easter. It's not yet Easter. We should just wait and see. Um, we know that there is, there's been some talk about um, her already being booked to be... Um, involved in the trooping of the colour, unclear as to what her role will be in that. But I think All we right. should just wait and see and that this is actually... The, Brit the British stiff upper lip be endures. Why? Why are we so interested? Yeah. yeah, it's a good question. Stiff upper lip endures. Emma, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.